Clay, first question, you know, over the years I imagine people have spelled your name thinking there's a C, you know, like Carson Eckhull, man. Now you have a C on the jersey, so, you know, what's it going to be like to be the captain? Yeah, it's obviously an honor uh, being a being a local guy and then following following a string of great uh, local captains here at UMD. Um, but at the same time, I, I, I don't take it for granted. I think uh, I just come to the rink, do the same thing that I have been for the past three years, and then uh, hopefully lead by example. A lot of captains are different. You know, one is the same as another, but you know, at, at the root of it, you know, it's a leadership position. Um, already a veteran, so you're a leader. But I mean, what more do you have to do? You know, what uh, you know, what goes into this role, in your opinion? Yeah, I think I've been fortunate to have um, three captains uh, my first three years here that that uh, have all been great, and I can kind of take uh, little bits and pieces out of their game and out of their leadership styles, and and kind of put it into my own. I think uh, I think, like I said, I just kind of lead by example and uh, and then continue to work hard, and then guys hopefully will see that and uh, and do it themselves. Is it a tough off season? I mean, you guys had such a fantastic year. I know the last one didn't go your way. Does that weigh on you? Do you think about that all off season, or were you guys already thinking ahead of this year? Uh, yeah, obviously that's that's a game that's uh, that you're going to think about um, the rest of your life. But at the same time, I think this off season we we really put a focus and emphasis on on moving on, um, uh, moving on to to new goals this year, and obviously we got to got a new squad and uh, new freshmen so I think we did a great job of really instilling that last year's last year we'll leave it in the past and uh, I look forward to moving into this season. I think it's 10 freshmen something like that I mean uh, is, are you still getting used to names and learning names and all that? Yeah no they've been great they uh, they step right into our culture here I think uh, I think we're pretty fortunate with um, with uh, the group that we got um, they, they push each other and they bring great energy to the rank so that's really all we can ask for. So as a captain do you feel like your responsibility to score more, or what do you have to do more in your game? Uh, yeah, I think I think my role really shouldn't change. Um, I think obviously um, we lost we lost scoring last season, but um, but myself and other guys will step up. I have no doubt in that. Getting ready for the exhibition game, how important is it for you guys to have that to kind of get ready? Where a lot of the pressure's off. Uh, yeah, it's great. Obviously, we didn't have it last year. We just stepped right into uh, playing, but um, I think it's great, especially for for all of our new guys. I think uh, the ten freshmen will be great for them, just kind of kind of getting a routine. Um, not that not that we don't want to go out there and, and win. Obviously, we do, but um, but I think it'll be great, just a learning experience before uh, before we start things off for real against the Gophers. A lot of holes from last year that still need to be filled. How have you guys, as an older class and as a captain, gotten some of the new guys in there and kind of gotten a cohesiveness of this team? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, I think from day one um, they kind of stepped in and everybody was comfortable with each other. Um, we do a lot of. A lot of things outside of the rink together too, so it's great. It's uh, it's just kind of our culture around here to, to welcome the new guys, and uh, and everybody's been uh, pushing each other to get better. I know this is further ahead of time, but how excited are you guys for the icebreaker tournament? It's not like a normal series to start off the season with. Uh, yeah, it'll be great. Obviously, we're excited to play uh, Minnesota on, on Friday night, so that'll be that'll be a great uh, great test right off the bat. And uh, I think we're all just excited that the hockey season's here. To be honest with you. I, it was, uh, it was a long off season with how last year ended up, and uh, we're just ready to get things going. Are you going to be a yeller in the dressing room? Have you been there? Uh, no, no, that's, uh, that's not really, not really my, my leadership style. I think, uh, I think I got guys around me that, that, uh, that talk a lot, and, and uh, obviously I'll step up and say things when I need to, but it's more, uh, more lead by example for sure. I was wondering if you spent the summer thinking up some clever lines that you can lay on them. With under certain conditions yeah no nothing like that I think it's just uh, I really really don't have to do too much with uh, with the, the great people around me Scott this exhibition uh, kind of similar to last I think it was last <laughs> year where you guys played an exhibition on the, the first night again uh, how do you tackle this? Is this a night where you give a lot of the young players a, a lot of chance? Oh, uh, we get out there nice time. Yeah, we'll try and get everybody in. You know, uh, it's nice we can play everybody. And right now, knock on wood, no one's, you know, I don't think injured enough where they can't play. So we'll try to give every goalie a, a period. Um, probably rotate a line in a couple D halfway through the game and try and get everybody a chance to play. Uh, the South Alberta team, it kind of sounds like they might give you guys a bit more of a challenge than, than what um, maybe some other teams have given you guys in the past. Yeah, they're good. I mean, they're traditionally one of the top teams in the CIS, and uh, it's kind of nice to see somebody different, but uh, I think they're, they're a pretty talented team. I don't know a lot of their players, but um, you know, I know year in and year out they're right near the top, and I've heard that from other schools that have played them too, that they're 
a very good opponent. So it'll be a good test for us, uh, you know, right off the bat. And obviously, they'll carry over into Minnesota. Good incentive for your guys, too. You can tell them after they play four years for you. They, they go try pro, yeah. they get done, they can still go up there and be <laughs> freshmen up at Alberta, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> well, it's always fun playing those teams, too, because they are older. Um, you know, they've already played some games, too, so uh, I don't think they, they play hard. And their goaltending always seems to be very good, but, you know, it's always a good starting point to, to play. Um, some guys like it, some guys don't. Um, I think it'll be good for this group to, to get in a game uh, and get in those uh, that type of setting before we play uh, Minnesota the next weekend. Scott, so you're pretty going. jumping into the fire there. Right? Just like every year, right? You know? Uh, it's no different uh, than the last two or three years where our non-conference schedule has been good. and right. Our first month is obviously difficult then it, then it gets a little easier because we get into league play <laughs> Scott your three goaltenders what have you seen out of them in the limited time you've had them on the ice uh, you? you know I think uh, I think they've all had you know some good good moments but um, it's been a good battle uh, Shepard uh, missed a couple days because he had a little injury but he's back but uh, you know it's it's been hard when you're not out there every day um, same thing you know with the limited ice time it's 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 tough so um that's why we'll give them all an opportunity to play like we did last year and see who kind of emerges but you know it's, it's anybody's right now based on what i've seen i don't think anyone's jumped out and been heads or tails better than anybody else so um i guess that's a good problem uh that they're all fairly even and battling for a spot uh, Nick and, and Hunter last year, what really kind of stood out to you about maybe what they did in practice and, and the limited game action they did see? Well, I think, you know, when Nick went in and Lowell, I mean, we were down 4-1 to one and, you know, maybe sometimes that's easier for goalies to go in part way through the game, but we started him the next night and I thought he had another strong game and, you know, he's got a calmness in the net. He didn't really, uh, you know, didn't look nervous or anything. And, Played and you know we ended up getting a couple ties there and started him again against Notre Dame and he won here and then we gave Shep a try and I thought he played well even though he didn't win but I think you know through the time uh, that they weren't playing I thought they worked hard I thought they had a good attitude I think uh, Brant did a great job with those guys keeping them on the right path to keep getting better and uh, I think at the end of the year when, when Shep got in there against Western I think Brant, Brant was excited to see some of the things that he worked with them on and get better at during the year and those kind of come to fruition in the game and I think those were good things. So they got better, they worked hard to get better, they didn't pout or moan, you know, get depressed that, you know, it's disappointing that they're not playing and they kind of accepted that but they didn't quit and they just kept working and, you know, at the end of the year, you know, we did the exit meetings and, you know, Hunter hadn't signed yet and so those guys were probably thinking it was going to be much of the same and four days later their attitude changed so um, they were pretty excited so I think they came into the year, you know, certainly with a different outlook and excited about the opportunity to play. Benjamin, Pat, how, how'd that all come about of uh, getting him, him here? Was that a guy you, you'd watched before? Or? Well, yeah, we had seen him, I mean, but, you know, again, we weren't, it was a little bit more late in the game um, but we did some, you know, some good character checks on him too. We knew some people up there, and obviously his coaches. The coaches raved about his character and team guy, and you know the work ethic. And he's been great. Uh, he's got a great personality. Um, I can tell he enjoys playing the game, and he's come here and you know uh, probably pretty loose and just uh, going to work hard and and challenge. So uh, he's he's been good at for what I've seen. Um, hopefully, it'll be have a better idea when we get on the ice a little bit more too. Even when you, when you think you have that your goaltending set for a few seasons out, are, are you guys still keeping an eye on guys, taking notes on guys, doing any recruiting, mm -hmm. checking in? How, how does that kind of work? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing after the last two years now, yeah. <laughs> I told Brad to slow down. <laughs> He's put two guys in pro hockey here, so no, you're always looking. It's no different than any other position, but we're excited about you know who we have coming down the road and we're going to need another one so you know we're looking at some different age groups maybe not the older goalies um, but you never know uh, you don't know what's going to happen in this game and but you're always looking and tracking guys 
you joke about Brant putting a couple guys in pro hockey the last mm -hmm. two years. Is that is that kind of a, a tool to your benefit almost that you've had the team uh, has left some success mm -hmm. and, and hopefully Hunter does the same thing? Yeah, I like to think that it should be. You know, I think he does a great job and I think he's got a great demeanor and I think he's been really, really good for not only the guys that have played a lot, but the guys that haven't. I think keeping them keeping their, you know, <clears throat> energy up keeping their spirits up and you know and pushing them to get better and i think those are those are a lot of the things that he's done and you know obviously the guys that are playing you know it's, it's tough nowadays because a lot of those guys uh you know have goalie coaches elsewhere um so i think he does a great job with working with their goalies and and maximizing their their abilities and their style of play and not going out there and trying to reinvent the wheel you look at it now, look back at last year, do you give mm -hmm. more credit to the goaltender or the defenseman for the, you know, you were great in your end, mm -hmm. but you had a great defenseman and you had great goaltending. Now you got to replace both of them. Well, yeah, I mean, it's different, obviously. You know, the goaltending situation is a little bit similar going into this year with not a lot of experience. Um, last year we had a lot of experience on the blue line. This year we don't. Um, I think our blue line grew as the year went on. I mean, I knew we had some... You know, three or four guys that we could rely on, but um, I thought, you know, watching Nicky Wolf grow through the year, you know, having a healthy Dan Molinar, those guys stepping up and, and playing big minutes for us uh, were, were pretty key to that group being good. And, uh, you know, I think it helped our, our goaltender grow too, but he's just, you know, Hunter was just a confident kid. And, uh, you know, if you'd have told me he was going to play like that, when he, before he started, I probably would have said he probably wouldn't be in our program very long, but he was outstanding for us. But he he won his fair share of games for us, obviously. Uh, Ohio State game for sure comes to mind at the end of the year and um, gave us a chance every night. And I think the guys in front of him did a good job too, you know, defending, blocking shots, uh, helping him out too. So there, I think there was a lot of trust between, you know, that group, uh, D and forwards and, and for, or, uh, D and goaltender and goaltender and defenseman. You look at Wolf. Wolf's play got better and better, mm -hmm. and then dramatically better mm -hmm. at the end. I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he you? stepped. He stepped up. I mean, I think uh, you know early on it was again learning a little bit, uh, right. but you know we kept putting him in there. And I think uh, when when Seuss went out, I think he took another step and, and played good. As did most of our decor. Anytime you lose, you know, a key player, you, know, you hope guys step up. And he was one of those guys that did. But I thought I thought the biggest thing with Nicky too. I thought he. He played hard. He played physical, but he didn't take he didn't take a lot of dumb penalties. You know, he he was he was physical and, and aggressive, and you know, he brought that element to our team, but in a in a disciplined way. And I thought that was important. Yeah, expect some leadership out of him, I presume. Yeah, he's growing. There's no question. Um, you know, he's that's the fun part of of watching these uh, players if you have them for hopefully four years is that they grow each year, and he's he's certainly stepped up in that and. Um, I, you know, I think he went to uh, Calgary's development camp this summer, so you know those are good things to, to motivate players, and um, so it's been fun. It's been fun to to see, you know, him grow both uh, you know, physically, mentally, and within his game. So, Cody, how would you how would you uh, mm -hmm. describe uh, this year's team, and then also describe the challenges mm -hmm. that uh, obviously lie ahead of you with a young group coming in? Uh, well, I think. I think I, I really I, I'm excited about this group. Um, <clears throat> I, I really like uh, the players that we we have. I, I like the freshmen that we brought in. Certainly, our back end has some different dynamics. I think they're a very mobile group. Um, I think they're a good puck moving group, and I think they bring some offensive ability. Might not see that right away. Maybe a couple guys right away, but as a, as a group over time, I'm, I'm I look at where that group is going to be. You know, even at the end of this year, next year. Uh, you know, so they'll grow together. Um, forwards wise, I think we're, you know, a pretty deep group. Um, obviously losing Adam, who's a high end guy, a difference maker certainly doesn't help, but um, so we'll probably miss that element. And he's obviously was kind of a true number one center. So, but we've got Peter Krieger coming into the mix who, you know, has some experience. Uh, you know, he'll be elevated probably into that spot. And I think it's still a battle for some of the other 
you know, second line, third line center spots. Uh, I don't know. You're going to see a lot of moving parts, I think, with this team until we kind of find some chemistry, um, kind of find what works, try and get guys in and out, try them in diff different spots. So the first month, I think, is going to be, you know, I say that now, we might not be that way, but, you know, I think the players are going to decide on some of that too. You know, I think uh, just talk to them about that today. I mean, it's, it's important for them to, to know that they're battling for, for spots on this team and maybe different positions on this team and nothing's etched in stone. And I thought there were some guys that, you know, what I've seen in practice be a little complacent, not that they're, you know, know they're going to play, but just instead of wanting more and maybe elevating their role or different position on the team. And, you know, you can't have that. You got to have guys battling every day and, you know, the lineup might change you know, on a night, uh, nightly basis or a weekly basis and kind of see what we have. But I like some of the parts for sure. I mean, there's obviously some question marks, uh, you know, just like there was last year, uh, especially in goal. But I think those guys, I know one of them or two of them can step up and, and win games for us. So, um, so it'll be interesting. It, it, it's exciting. Um, there's always optimism. There's always pessimism um, but you know I really like the group and I think uh, they've worked hard and you know they get along right now just fine but we'll see when the battles start uh, everything's good now because everything's zero and zero. The great success you've had though it gives you this responsibility and and now there's no you don't get a break you don't get a chance to be not ranked in the top ten and sneak up on somebody I mean you got this big rebuilding thing in your number six in the country. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we. Can, I don't think there were many voters in that poll. Actually, I think there's a lot of guys that missed the, the deadline. Um, no, it's good. I mean, I, you know, said that for years. I mean, you know, you want high expectations for the program, and you know, it's up to the guys too to to understand that. And when there is that, there's there's some pressures. There's no question. But would you want it any other way? You know, we'll see. Like you know, last year's group handled some adversity very well. Um, there was a calmness to that team, a, a, a real quiet resolve that, and, a, and a, a real sincere trust in each other. And this group certainly has to grow into that. Um, but, you know, time will tell how quickly this group can come together. And once you start playing, you know, games, there's going to be ups and downs. We know that for some guys, but we need our older guys to be consistent. Um, you know, we can't have many ups and downs with those guys. And, uh, like I said, I think our depth through our forward group will be good, and, and I think our D will learn quickly because I think they're smart players and they'll figure figure out this level sooner rather than later. You've never been afraid to play defenseman on their offside. Mm -hmm. It goes back to Pion Polinski mm -hmm. most recently here with great success. Mm -hmm. You'll have no choice this year because mm -hmm. of the number of lefties you have. Do you have an idea what lefties you mm -hmm. want to put on their right side, or is it still kind of a feeling out uh, process? A little bit of a feeling out process. Probably, you know, you might see Perunovic over there, you know, if he's playing with another lefty. Um, maybe Mikey Anderson. Um, I, you know, one of the things we try and do no matter what is we try and get them in practice whether you whether you have enough righties or lefties playing the offside you know throughout the week because it happens in a game and you know you want it's no different than a forward playing the off wing you know just getting get some comfort level there but um i think i think a lot of those guys are pretty versatile and can do it um so but if i was to say right off the bat probably those two um i think mikey's done it in junior hockey scotty has played you know all over the rink, so when he's like a forward, he'll he can probably play both. So, so do you have every defense <laughs> prospect who watched the uh, video and has ever done a spinorama is now calling you to come to school? Uh, no, no, it's great, and I, we don't have any right now that can do that spinorama. So I'm I'm glad, but no, I I sent Neil a text. I, had to be I, a thrill. I said to it must have been a new move. <laughs> That's it had to be a thrill to you to see that. Yeah, it was great, especially the game winner. Great. So. As he pulls that off in a regular season NHL game? Uh, maybe once. <laughs> maybe <laughs> once. <laughs> it was pretty cool to watch, though. Was. With Playing the Islanders doesn't matter if it's regular season or no. after the game. No. <laughs> no. With the size of that freshman class mm -hmm. and all the new faces, how much mm -hmm. do you lean on a guy like Carson? And how, how accelerated mm -hmm. does, does his leadership have to be in, 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 in that first month before you're able to get on the ice this Saturday? Well, for sure a lot. I mean, I think all your... I think all our returning guys to some expect, like, you know, the interesting thing is last year they, that was a pretty tight senior group. It was a big senior group, you know, with seven of those guys. And, you know, this year's senior group isn't, isn't as big. And, 
So there was a pretty good support group beyond just Dom last year. Um, this year, I think it's a little smaller. Some of those, there's some guys that I think are going to merge into kind of that leadership group that aren't captains. Um, but you know, as long as long as it doesn't affect Carson, because Carson takes things to the heart pretty pretty much and likes to at times you know put things on his shoulders. But he's just got to go play and. You know, keep doing what he's doing. I mean, he's had votes for three years, and he's certainly a very deserving leader for us. And the guys have a lot of respect for him. So, you know, and a lot of it is just the way he goes about his business and plays the game. So, um, but he'll find out too. It's uh, you know, there'll be some challenges, but but that's where, as a coaching staff and our our captains, we work together. And but, but we'll we'll rely on him quite heavily. It's, it's happened just naturally, I'm sure, but uh, do you take uh, any bit of pride uh, in that the fact that you've had five straight Northland guys uh, wear that C for your program? Yeah, I think it means we're recruiting good character kids, you know, and uh, I think it's awesome. Um, you know, uh, they've all been great. I think they've all, um, they are all were a little bit different, but I think they all learned from each other a little bit too, and obviously Jack was before, you know, Andy or you know Krause and those guys, but uh, I think it's nice when you have those guys prior to maybe those guys yourself being a captain to learn from good people. And I think we've had some really really good leaders here in the last five six years, and it's been awesome that they were from the area. With Adam's departure, he was supposed to be an assistant captain. Mm -hmm. Do you guys fill that role, or has that uh, been talked about? Yeah, you know what, Dan, we were talking about that. Um, you know, we've kind of thrown out some different things. We're kind of just letting that take its course here through this month, and um, I think we'll probably do something. Um, I'm just not sure yet what, but uh, whether it's going to be a permanent A, um, maybe a rotating A, I don't know. Um, I'm more leaning towards just, you know, having one more permanent A, but I wanted to see how the start of the year went and through the training and all that stuff goes, so we'll, we'll decide that probably soon.